Okay guys, here we go. We're talking about the movement standards for the summer throwdown next week. First move is the deadlift. So deadlift movement standards across the board are bars touching the ground and open the hip at the top. So you know, you're starting at the ground, stand up tall, open that hip at the top. So go ahead and give us a few of those. Good, good. What we don't want to see is bouncing the bar off the ground. So no bending of the arm and pushing or bouncing that barbell off the ground. Uh, other than that, pretty straightforward, right? Bars touching the ground, stand up tall at the top, open the hip. Once again, no bouncing the bar off the ground or bending the arm, uh, pushing the bar into the ground. Deadlift. Okay, now we're talking about the burpee. So burpee standards are minimal. We want to see chest to the deck and jump and clap with the hands overhead. Again, chest to deck, jump and clap, open up. You must be vertical at the top of that movement. Now, there's been a lot of questions about foot position. Can you go wide with the feet? And remain wide as you jump and clap? And the answer to that is yes. But the same standards apply. Chest to the deck and jump and clap, even with the feet out wide. All right. Okay, chest to overhead. So the bar must stay in front the whole time. Power clean or squat clean up to the chest and shoulder or chest to overhead anyhow. So it could be a push press, could be a push jerk, could be a split jerk. As long as we can see a portion of the ear when your judge is standing at your side the judge must see a portion of the ear shoulder all the way open at the top that's it chest to overhead okay the final movement in wad one is the squat clean so standard squat clean mechanics range of motion Bar comes off the ground, passing through a full squat. So full squat is below parallel and opening the hip at the top. Okay, now we will allow a power clean front squat combination. So if need be, power clean to a full front squat, opening the hip at the top. All right. Okay, so wad two, we've got 10 squat snatches. So the bar's coming off the ground and you must travel through a full squat and stand up tall at the top, opening the hip with the bar in control in that overhead position. Now we will allow a power snatch overhead squat combination. But again, the bar's coming off the ground Power snatch into a full squat, passing through parallel. Okay, the second movement in wad two is an overhead squat. So once you finish those 10 squat snatches, then it's an AMRAP overhead squat. You may squat snatch the first rep. Then going into max rep overhead squat in the time remaining. Now you can, rack the bar on the back during that four minute period. So if you also need to clean and jerk the bar up onto the back, if you drop it in between your overhead squats, you may clean and jerk up onto the shoulders and then reestablish the overhead position going into overhead squats. Good. Okay guys, so here's wad three. Two minute AMRAP jumping barbell squats. 
That's 95 for men, 65 for women. No scaling. So you gotta get that bar onto the back and pass through a full squat and reach triple extension at the hip, knee, and ankle. And we must see daylight underneath those feet. Now, if the bar is to drop off the back, if you drop that bar onto the ground, that's a two minute, excuse me, two burpee penalty on the spot. Same burpee standard, chest to deck, jump and clap, come vertical at the top. Good luck with that one, guys.